So the last couple days I've posted some little videos about how to recover a PCM when you run into trouble flashing with HP tuners. I'm getting two kind of people coming out of the woodworks. There's people who are genuinely interested and want to, they didn't know they could modify their own computers and stuff for cheap or free. They want to know how it is. They want to know how to save them because they've tried before and they're, they, it just freezes up on them every time and they have to pay someone to fix it anyway. Um, those are the guys I'm looking for here to try to help. The other kind of person that's been commenting are the ones that already know everything and how to tune and ritual behind it. Um, I know I know the ritual and I know how to prevent all the issues with the flashing. Um, so I'm not, the point of my videos isn't to ask you why this is happening or like what you have to do every time. It's for the guy who tried it on his driveway and is now in a pickle and doesn't want to pay anyone. It's pretty easy to get a tune on your car if you've just got money and there's uh, someone that you know you give them your money's worth and you're going to get the product after. But the reality is a lot of people are building stuff like this and wanting stuff like this tuned where it's a fairly low value vehicle um, that you just want to be fast. There's almost two schools of thought for it online. There's the ones that are like, if you don't do it the right way, it's not worth doing it all. And I just don't buy it with this with this stuff. All right, so so this isn't for the pro tuners. Um, I know that those standards and procedures that you do uh, help you in your frame of reference and in your field of work there. Um, I'm sitting here talking to the guys trying to figure it out in their driveway and on the side of the highway. Bench flashing P59s is the way to go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a bench harness. You can make your own out of junkyard parts if you want. Um, I made my own years and years ago. I'm not going to tell you how to do it in this video because you can just get online and buy them for pretty cheap now. I think even on Amazon. Just type in like P01 slash P59 bench harness and I bet you come up with a million. And if you're willing to spend 50 or 100 bucks, you can have a pretty nice one. Um, I put this thing together for like 10 bucks. It's a power supply, the blue connector from NELS harness and an obd port All right so i've got mine labeled up so i remember which way it goes <laughs> it's not going to help most people but uh, if you have the blue side up the blue side is always the same whether you have a blue red or a blue green the next thing you're going to need is an obd link this is the sx they still sell it on amazon here we are all hooked up um goes into your port here now this software there are m more than one i've tried a lot of them and uh my favorite is this one because it does everything that I ever need to do. It's called PCM Hammer, and you can just Google it. It's found, the link on it is on some sketchy old forum, and your computer's going to warn you a bunch that it's going to give it covades or whatever. Just get it. It's, it's worth it. This PCM Hammer is the read and write software. So in combination with this extremely cheap hardware, this software will read that PCM and give you a file that is modifiable. This doesn't modify the file, so we'll get there in a moment. But I'm gonna go ahead and read this so that I have an as-found file that I can always go back to if I need to in my uh, Yukon over there. You just go ahead and read it, read entire. So it tells you everything it's doing. So while we're waiting here, uh, I wanna let you guys know, there's tons of information about this already on YouTube, Facebook, um, if you haven't already, you got to binge Matt Happel with Sloppy Mechanics, um, Driveway Engineer, that's JR Gun, Hunter Tuned, Squirrel Tuned. There's these guys that have been doing it um, the sloppy way, we call it, for a long time. Uh, it's just, you just have to know a lot and be able to do it yourself. It's kind of like building a car. I all right, we're all done. It tells you as it's going what it's doing and stuff if you're interested, but... Uh, it kind of goes through at the end and compares the different files that it replaced, make sure that everything's good and everything worked out this time. Take it off a of high speed, see if we can get it deeper in there. So I did have to take it off a of high speed, but I want you to note, I'm doing this way wrong. Everything's on, my fuses are in, my lights are on, and uh, it's still trying to do it this time. Sometimes it just, there's almost no rhyme or reason. All right, so that's not going to fail. So what I'm going to do is while it's 80% done, boop. <laughs> so she is truly, 
that was that was a bad one so that's got 80 percent of the tune on it and it's in some kind of open thing no idea what it's going to do now but i'm pretty confident we can go save it with our new bin file with pcm hammer all right so back to pcm hammer here i'm going to reinitialize my device make sure it's communicating properly and it is hook back up all i got to do is come up here to tools go down to write full flash parentheses clone and a clone will clone it to be indistinguishable but in four minutes i will have a fresh flash you can see it got in there Operating system request failed. Checking for a live kernel. Checking for recovery mode. Unlock not required. Unlock successful. So now it's just gonna go ahead and overwrite the whole thing. It just isn't a problem. Step one for not screwing up your stuff is figure out how this stuff works. Get yourself a bench harness. Get yourself an OBD Link SX or whatever else there's other people online recommending other ones this one works great for me download pcm hammer all right looks like it all went well you can see at the bottom there it says flash successful okay so again if uh if this isn't clear my videos on instagram here are so short not in depth enough really to teach you what you're doing here Figure out how to read and write your car. Don't even worry about modifying yet. If you can do it without uh, disabling the vehicle, you're ready to start modifying your uh, your bin files. Let's let's put some power to. It.